Hello everyone, Dickfink here, and welcome back to some more Outer Worlds. I'm supposed to do this whole intro thing like this and be like, hello everyone, but I didn't, because I'm still getting used to the new stream deck. But anyways, we are headed back to Monarch, because she wants to kill a Mantis Queen that is in a cave that they used to use as a base. And I really don't know what the closest location would be to this. And by her, I mean, holy, it's been a day or two. Um, Ellie, Ellie, I believe is the one that wants to go do it. No, it's no, no yucca. I still cannot pronounce her name and I feel bad about it, but whatever, I can't pronounce just about everyone's name. Terrible names, I don't remember them. I don't know shit. Always cleared, missed the tutorial, blah, 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 blah. I almost you read. Don't rub it in. Oh, don't get all prickly. I just someone who left the um, this sounds like the closest and I said sounds it looks like the closest it's gonna be one of those days isn't it everybody and um, we're 170 away don't see any contacts and I really need to get like a mat of some kind to go under the mouse you know like a mouse pads uh, cuz there just keeps being little dust particles and I don't even know where it comes from presumably Comes from the ceiling because I'm in a basement with no proper ceiling, so it's just floorboards above me. And I think when people walk up there and stuff, like little bits of dirt and specks and stuff fall through and land on my desk, and then they get under my mouse. Ooh. Ah. Here we go. I haven't set foot in here since. Wow. I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Very indecisive there. Um. So this explains what one of these doors was for. So, I didn't even open the door. Just let me travel through it. It's kind of lazy. Could have at least opened the dang door. Oh, 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 we got a perfect opportunity to test something, everyone. Echo! 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 Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy echoey in here. Hopefully that worked properly. Um, that's my first time testing out one of the voice modulator things in recording. <sighs> Gotta love echoing caves. Um, there's actually a cave voice on here, which would be kind of funny to do in here the whole time We're gonna skip that stuff see how some of this stuff goes and slowly work that into being more entertaining um, Nothing up there clear in the cave um, Hear things Mantisaur drone Put them down don't get close to me. Still a terrible camera angle on her skill. And totally overkill. But angles. We got angles. Yeah, everyone's fine. I'll swap to my super loud sniper rifle in here. That's a dead person. And they like just died because they're not eating really or decomposed in any way, shape, or form. And I thought this was quite a long time ago that she ditched these people. So... Maybe if we showed up slightly earlier, we would, would have been able to save them. And am I the only one that still hasn't noticed an upgraded, like, actual sniper sniper rifle? Like, I mean, I got the DMR in my hand, so, like, you can call that sniper rifle in this game. I would argue it's not, though, but, like, at this point, you basically have to admit it is because there aren't any other options. Um, searching, searching. I just want to go kill the Manta Queen. There's just no reason not to go walk back here and kill it. Because presumably this is where she comes from. Presumably I actually have to lure her down here. Not a lame. Not a lame game. Fine. We'll actually put it down here. Also, you did not pick a secure cave at all. Why well, build the giant fancy, like... Hard to get into impossible door with an open ceiling. I don't make the most sense. It's fine. Well, Place the glance. This is the spot. Is it? You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and your hair is very right static. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. How does it not smell like sulfur in here? 
I'm with you there. I hate that smell. You know, I did feel a bit different when I walked in here. Sure. We'll go to number Monarch two. folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here. And there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. You built all this, the space I thought you'd been taking over someone else's van and property. Oh, we number one. Steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Well, Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. It's still weird that Sulphur didn't make it in here. My brain's trying to rack around that, especially with the opening ceiling and everything. I wonder what properties in this cave or what other smells overpowering the Sulphur. Teenager out here in the Monarch Wilderness. Must have been a brave kid. You got a young girl killed. Um, must have been a brave More kid. More like attached at the hip to her older sister. Got a kind of strength between them, I suppose. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name. One family. Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Interesting. Um, I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some manta ass. Let's do this. Tell you what doesn't belong in the bugs. Clear them out, shall we? You were a family. I'm sorry that they are gone, Nokia. Oh, number three. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Oh, now let's get to shooting before I get all sent Thanks. thanks. Fire. Let's do this. That was just me missing shots. Get away from me, buddies. Going well from here. Yes, we'll use one of those to res them. Because they are just kind of eating it. I'm just dying up there, everyone. Well, oh, magic queens just aren't that threatening. Like, I'm really not trying that hard. Oh no, you're shooting at me. I'm so scared, Manta Queen. I'm actually more scared of you. Stupid little asses for their things. And I am your so-called giant Manta Queen. That's because they're running stasis effects on me. And why would you aim when you can just hit fire? Spray and pray a little. Make this go a little bit faster. It's like... I don't know. I guess I've really lost any ambition or worth in trying super hard in this game. It is... I'm not going to say dragging on because I still like the personalities and stuff, but like there's just no... It lost any bit of challenge it had towards me, which... I can, I can do that for a little while, but at some point it's like, okay, can I do something hard? And I mean, I guess they have to anticipate different play styles. And you have to have a bunch of non-min-maxed combat playstyles to account for, I guess. So... I mean, it is what it is. Because, like, I'm min-maxed, I'm super combat effective. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but... At least we're all here. This bringing them together. Burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but... That also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you with whatever the heck all this was and your emotional, internal, sensitive stuff. I don't even know. But whatever. I'm happy. You're happy. I'm happy. You're welcome. Um, I just can't stand well by Manda Queen's room. That's kind of true. No one likes the Manda Queen. rest the spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Um, you're leaving the medallions here. I suppose that's wise. Go ahead. Of 
course, although I think you should hold on to the medallions. Um, uh, number one. We get a little cutscene? Or is that just her? Oh, it loaded me here. Whatever, game. A little cutscene of her bearing would have been acceptable. Would have been good. I would have liked it. Um, not the greatest quest line, not my favorite character, but that could just be personal preference. But still, like, Mass Effect and other games that try to draw you into this RPG and care about a crew and stuff, the more little cutscenes, the more feelings and personal little, whoa, that's, that's slow down time. I don't use that that often. The more of those little things you can throw in here, the better, what the hell? Oh, that was my cue refilling shows how often i use that that the sound of it just like threw me for a freaking loop um we're going back to the unreliable so i'm just 99 percent sure we are done on this planet um journal puts us a companion quest dr patrov on the ship we can do that been. fine they're allowed to i swear next time we put in the groundbreaker i'm gonna do it i'm gonna ask her over Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. I think it's time you move along. The break is over. Leave conversation. Well, I guess we're going to the groundbreaker, everyone. Because this girl's got a date. Uh, dock the groundbreaker so she can... Uh, okay. I was going to say, it's still telling me just to talk to her. But I just did that. To the groundbreaker. Girl, you better be ready. One That's hell of a first impression and like all this fancy stuff and research on a person. It's just things that don't really happen nowadays. I don't think. It's usually like blind dates, first dates, online dates, friends hooking up, friends with who. And you don't like research the girl ahead of time. But I guess that's, it's just, I don't know. It's just nothing right. happens that often anymore. She's on her way. How do I look? Um, you look terrific. Cleaner, maybe. You're, I mean, you could put on the mother outfit that you made us go get. Or not. She's just sitting in her armor. Um, number one. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. Whatever. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Can you show us in our pretty clothes we got her? No, you're just going to load me here. You know, the minimum they could have done is shown us in the fa okay. Is this her in her fancy clothes? Yes. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. I don't need to hold what this out. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used to hit her. He's probably half as tall as I was. Getting some food. Don't mind me. Talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot. Robbing. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Ooh, that's strong words. Then your conversation? Okay. Oh, hey, ladies! I didn't even notice you in here. How's the date going? It going good? My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think groundbreaker What they got here? Game, itself? cards, bills when I chafed against his food, I got the little cakes, beer. He was afraid of them. Hmm. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. So, I've got some, some qualms here. And one, you still have the freaking goggles on your head. You could do without that, since you got all these fancy mama. digs. I, I don't mean to pry. Fine, though. Pre-used heads, cheaper. Assets instead because of making a new one small. and animating it. Taught me how to change a but her. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood. My father. I want to say she should be dressed she up properly the first day, but she's being herself. So I support the being herself, but she could have at least washed her face. But I know as an engineer, exactly she wouldn't care, so she just wants to be herself. My father would have said, uh, cold. I don't know. I'm analyzing this a lot. Gotta put a little more effort in. I could see why Parvati seems so happy here. Oh, that's nice. Some of the cable routing in here is unique. 
Oh, is she if calling out your work? I'm in the void of space. Cold. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Thank you for welcoming me aboard your ship. Anytime. Next time, wash your face. We got a bathroom back there. A robot that would love to wash your face for you. It's fine. Enjoy your date. Have a good day. I'm still walking away and yelling at you guys from really, really far away. That's how I say goodbye in real life, too. You just slowly walk away. Um, journal. Don't bite the sun. Check in on the date. Head to the kitchen and see how the day's going. You're having a great time. You should leave the ship and let them enjoy their date together. Oh, okay. Better not steal my ship. I'm heading out. Have fun, little girls. I don't know why I called them little girls. That was kind of weird. But whatever. <laughs> Take her with me. Um, I don't really want to take either of these people. Um, I mean, we're done with her. Take Sam. Never taking Sam off the ship. Let's go, Sam. Give him some privacy. Fine. You a robot walking in there. This shirt looks really weird on camera. Ooh, it's all whiny. Whatever. I'm just making fun of myself in my own chat now. Some banging going on upstairs, but I do share this house with other folk. That's it. We just leave the ship and then immediately I'm allowed back on. But I'm not going to do that to them. We're going to check our vendors here. See if there's any upgrades. And then we can head back on board. Another 84. I'll buy it. Just because I'm kind of seem to be decking out all my people. For no particular reason. Other than just to do it. Hey dude, how's it going? Hey security, you guys love me, I love you too, it's all good. I wonder if the, um, I was gonna say, I wonder if the people in that back room area have, uh... You looking to shoot targets, barmits, or... Oh, I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. Uh, I kind of skipped through them talking. Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. Oh, and I got a thing between those two. Um, fancy upgraded guns, one thousand two 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 two. Nothing particularly special. We're on all the way back here to the armor vendor. But from what I gathered, the second half of that conversation, which I skipped because I thought it was just default conversation, was shoulder silencer, and it didn't make her any quieter. Hey, look who it is. What'll it be? Uh, let me see what you got to trade. Do, 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 do. You never have what I want. Did you know that, good sir? Never do. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. That was a complete fat finger of my F key. Um, that's the medical bay. Here that has the other vending machines. Yes, it is. 800 is 41 850 is 46 not worth Don't know if I need another one, but we're just gonna buy another one just to have it on hand Apparently everyone gets upgraded helmets, but nobody is upgraded to me so We're just gonna buzz on back here jump through everything. Let's go coming through move aside. Hey lady Hey man, see you later. Peace out just being a dick. Not really dick though. I'm just being one of those like loud mouth walking around all pouty pouty kind of guys in this episode. And look at those thrusters glowing. It's really, really hot. Ah! Yeah, wouldn't recommend that. Quick way to like burn your face off. Back to the unreliable. Probably have to check on how her date went with her and get thanks and praise from her. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Yeah, what's new? Okay, Captain, she's gone. Nice. Um, did it go well? I want all the details before you say anything. I want to be clear that I'm done running around for you. Great, I'm sure something broke while you were busy. You best get to it. What a dick a move. Did it go well? We're about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here, and after a few minutes, she said, Hey, do you have some new parts? And I was like, nah, I used a new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like, and... Called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. They laid out the meal, brought Jin in, and started the music. I know I was there, <laughs> lols. I figured you'd do some place 
More romantic than the engine room. Um, number one. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live monar monarchian? Monarchist? <laughs> Monarch person. Monarch person. Oh, that's a good one. So the meal went well, the dessert too. I was sure about that guy. I'm glad the end result was good. Let's skip to the good part. So the meal went well, was well, dessert too. We talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage, and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Smooth. That's unnaturally forward for you. And... I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. Speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Wait, she wrote a speech to declare her love? That sounds unbearable. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Good on her. Uh, what about your disorderly and physical affection? Oh, disinterest and physical affection. Man, I wish my perception was higher. That's sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met June Lay at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. You go for a girl. Do what needs doing. Well, I'm gonna undress you, then redress you because I gotta talk about your gear a little here. Cause you got some shitty helmet on. Boop. Now your helmet's like 16 times better. Um, the car. Still rocking really shitty helmet. I am. Your helmet is better. Sam, my friend, you are running two very high DPS weapons. Interesting. Um, I don't know who I want to bring with me. I know it's not her. I have no armor to strip her with. So, hold on on the stripping of the armor, people. Actually, I can do this off-channel because we're out of time. And off-channel, I mean off-camera, it's fine. We're out of time, everyone. I really do appreciate you all stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, a playlist should be appearing above me and a whole bunch of videos just like this one. Check some of those out. Watch them all front to back to really help my analytics. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Dig fig, yeah! You know... I just looked over at my panel to make sure I turned off the voice modular. Could you imagine if I didn't and we did the whole rest of the episode talking like that? By the way, guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>